Hello guys and welcome back. So Tesla have asked Cybertruck reservation holders to lease their sexy lineup for end of year push. Hello guys, now if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and uh, if you are a regular, welcome back. And uh, yeah, let's check. Yeah, and let's get back to this new and let's get back to this Tesla news. Now Tesla is looking to get a two for one with some of its Cybertruck reservation holders and uh, they're doing that through an email that was uh, now an email to those who have pre-ordered the, uh, the Cybertruck from Tesla has revealed that it is encouraging them to lease one of the currently available cars before accepting delivery of the Cybertruck in 2021 or in 2022. Now the email was originally reported by Electrek who actually received several tips from readers about the possibility of leasing another vehicle before receiving their Cybertruck within the next two years. And of course, this was depending on the variant, but Tesla is looking to increase its sales figures ahead of the end of the year. Now, as the Cybertruck will not begin production until late 2021 for the dual and tri-motor variants, there is the possibility that some owners will want to get into an all-electric Tesla before that time reaches. Now the email actually read and I'll read it. It said, I saw you have a Cybertruck reservation with us. So I wanted to give a courtesy update and provide myself as a resource. The single motor configuration is currently scheduled to begin production in late 2022 with the delivery projected to take place in early 2023. Now the dual and trial motor configurations are currently scheduled to begin production in late 2021 with the deliveries projected to take place early 2022. Now in the meantime, a lot of Cybertruck reservation holders have been doing 24 to 36 month leases on our current vehicles to bridge the gap and experience Tesla ownership. We are currently offering a one a $1,500 California clean fuel reward eligible for California residents re registering their car in state on top of other California state incentives that you could apply before the end of the year. Now, if you are interested in securing pricing on our current sexy models, uh, meaning the Model S, the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y, then please respond yes, and I will be happy to give you a call. Now, that was the email that was has been sent to all Tesla Cybertruck reservation holders, um, suggesting to them that they should take on a lease with the current models that Tesla has in the period that they'll be waiting for their Cybertrucks. Now, of course, Tesla has set a goal to produce 500,000 cars this year. And of course, despite the COVID-19 pandemic, which actually shut down the company's Fremont production facility in Northern California for a month, uh, Tesla has surged with three quarters that have beaten Wall Street estimates. Now, its most recent quarter proved to be the most successful in Tesla's history, as of course, Tesla marked 145,036 cars produced and 139,593 cars delivered. Now, to reach its goal, Tesla will need to build 170,000 vehicles and it will only build a vehicle if the demand is present. Now, the company rarely has inventory and uh, this is because the company rarely uh, keeps inventory. Now, Tesla end of the year push is always particularly intense and the company has called on help from owners in past years to actually assist in the efforts and uh, reaching out to Cybertruck pre-orderers is a good strategy considering the fact that uh, the vehicle won't be ready for around a year. So some reservation holders may be antsy or may be willing uh, to getting a Tesla in their driveway while they're waiting for their Cybertrucks. Now, what do you think about this news? Let me know in the comment sections below. Do you think it's a good idea for Tesla to push for to the Cybertruck uh, reservation holders for them to at least lease 
any other model of the Tesla so that they can get the experience of the Tesla while they're waiting for their Cybertrucks. Do you think that was a good move? Um, let me know in the comment sections below and uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have reached this far, please do consider subscribing and clicking the like button because it helps us a lot. And uh, yeah, until the next update, bye.